Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Mad Games Tycoon. My name is Weasel. We're back, and uh, yes, Extreme Rugby is hopefully breaking even soon. Sh Captain China is doing well. We're, we're getting there, slowly but steadily. Uh, Defenders of the Sun. Um, how much do we have in stock? 25,000. We need to make more. Way more. Let's let's do another 250,000. How much are we selling per week? Ah, uh, looks like 30,000. We'll get there. There you go. New orders. Okay. Good enough. Uh, we're not worrying too much about this. Uh, Extreme Rugby Online is going to be converted to a free MMO once the sales drop off. But in the meantime, let's do another update for our fantastic Captain China. I'm so I'm so stoked that it finally makes so much money. Uh, and I guess we could develop an update already for an MMO here. MMO add-on. Enable everything. It's just called add-on. Straight up add-on. That's fine. Here, give me all of these fantastic things. Uh, start working on that. And now we can... Let's see, uh, we already did all the improvements, graphics are already done. I think there's probably some, yeah, there's some capturing, filming and animation tiers. Other than that, there's not a whole lot else. So we're gonna do a add-on for Extreme Rugby. Uh, not add-on, we're gonna do an advertisement. And hope for the best, yeah, there's not too much to do. That means we're going to train the rest of the people. Automatically repeat, yeah, just, just, just keep training them. Why not? We need the best of the best in the industry. The Schnecke, ah, oh, nearly sold a million uh, units so far. That's pretty good, actually. That's pretty good. Um, 126 million is not gonna be enough to buy us a console. <clears throat> We're gonna repay everything. But that costs us like 240,000 a week, and that's not good. Captain China, ooh, not a lot of downloads, a thousand downloads. That's, that's basically nothing. Um, what if we remove pets and mounts and see how that affects gameplay? Doesn't... I think it's dying off. I think it's dying off. We gotta be honest about that. 2,000 downloads. How would that... Hmm. Free-to-play business model. I mean, you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna turn this on. I know they're not too happy about this, but at least we're gonna make a little bit more money. On this extreme rugby online MMO, uh, do not publish it now. Remove the box. I totally forgot to do that. Hey, I like that two officers can work on that at the same time. Double speed. Get rid of those. Uh, more marketing for this. The add-on. Where is it? There. Didn't set it to auto repeat. Uh, that's okay. Best we can do. And it's time to. Uh, let's let's have a look. Uh, yeah. Captain China's basically done. So it's probably a good idea to develop an update for Extreme Rug Rugby Online in the meantime. Oh, damn it, orders. Right, I should produce more. My, my bad. Sorry about that. Produce automatically 100,000. Good enough. Okay, that's done. Let's release the game. Video game boom. Ooh, boom. Fantastic. That's what I need. Let's wait for them to finish this up. Cool. Filming isn't done, that's okay. I want to publish this now. Uh, Self-produce one week. Add all the cool things to it. Yes. Retail price for a maximum. Set it automatically. 73. Ugh. That could have been better. Way better. Ah, uh, well. It's just an add-on for that. I'm okay. And let's uh, update the add-on. Just 200,000. That's quite all right. And once that goes down, oh right, we're gonna produce it too. Mm, 100,000 produce automatically. That, oh no, that's not the add-on, sorry. Produce game, the add-on needs to be produced. 100,000, yep. Oh, looks like the same because <laughs> the title is too long for the field there, it's okay. Okay, Extreme Rebel Online add-on is running. Captain China is slowly losing active players, still 5 million players and like a ton of in-app purchases. Extreme Rocket Boy Online does well, uh, you know, as well as it could. Let's do some car marketing on this. Uh, auto repeat, bring it to 100, why not? The Schnecke could sell more as well. I will gladly... Ah, I'm not touching this, screw it. Let's have a quick look, is it still cheap to produce? It's at price. Um, 85, we're still selling for 99, I guess this is the cheapest we can do. So, eh, fine. Uh, yeah, let's participate with a large booth. That should definitely increase our sales here and there. And I think we're good. <clears throat> 67,000 cents. We're nearly at a million, but that's great. 
Uh, high score championship is still going on. And I think it's time for more updates. Okay, Extreme Rugby Online. Nearly a million subscriptions. This is slowly going down. So yeah, we broke even with this one. Extreme Rugby Online here is making money too. So nothing to do. Uh, we could probably develop a successor for one of our fantastic games like... Wow, 99%. That was really fantastic. Um, I would love to do one, but nah. 99% screw it. Let's do... What did really well too. It was a 94% game, wasn't there? Paintball Puzzle Panic Bar. <laughs> sure. I don't care. We do this. Uh, puzzle Engine. There you go, AAA. I'm, I'm totally okay with this. What I'm gonna do... Oh, actually, buy dev kits. The Mimtenu fee. We, sh we shall do that. Um, yeah. And of course, Die Schnecke. I, I don't care if it's not a big platform. Uh, we can copy the concept so we don't have to worry about anything. Looks good. Uh, looks good. And all the features are enabled. Yeah, that's good enough. Uh, we are going to get a bigger studio. Uh, a bigger, where is it? Um, build a room. Where is that? Motion capturing. We're gonna put a bigger one here. I think it's automatically be filled this time. Nope, it's not. Which works for me. Because that means I can squeeze them in myself. Yep, on both sides. Good. That doubles the size. Which is definitely what I need. One of the biggest issues I had so far. Uh, and I can close this one off. Let me remove this. Yep. Ah, uh, this is advertisement. Oh, actually, no, this is, uh, customer support. I think what I'll do... Hmm. What room would be needed? I guess updates kind of make sense. Trainings room, server room. You know what? We're gonna have a third development office. Oh, automatic, automatic place items. Nee. We'll do it ourselves. We'll squeeze in the small tables. Develop a game. Oh, sorry. Don't develop a game. Uh, put in some desks, please. Yeah, the, the, the small ones. Develop all the games. Very good. I mean, even if we need them or don't need them, this allows us to make game updates for all the games at the same time. There you go. Develop a... Oops, don't develop a game. Develop an update. I mean, I don't know if it's a good idea or not, but... Why not? I want to keep Captain China going. He, st he still makes like three million. So this is, this is totally fine with me. If we have to invest a bit, so be it. Oh yeah, right, Paintball Puzzle Panic needs to work on its box and improve on its gameplay. Truly forgot to set these things. I wish I could set that automatically. Like, do everything at the same time. And this is very likely to be a thing that might be added. That, that you could set that from the development screen. We, of course, are going to make the hype real. And I think there's our animations and video recording. Studio. Go ahead and do that. I'll work on this. I think everyone's busy now. Let's see if there's some staff that's really good. Michael Ansel. Yeah, you're hired. Absolutely. 92 in certain. S oh, wow. Yeah, music and sound. I'll take some. Thank you. Good enough. I think we got everything so far. I'll add some research. Console research. Yeah. We'll we'll need the good stuff. We'll need the good stuff. So, might as well start researching the good features. Okay, let's have a quick look. Extreme Rugby Online is doing fine. Are we doing enough in terms of sales? China doesn't need... Yeah, they, they are still producing. That's good. There are some orders there. How much? A uh, week. 11,000, 23,000. No, they're doing well. This is nearly done. The hype is real. Bucks are getting removed. Okay, we, we hit the 200 million dollar mark, which is <laughs> probably gonna allow us to build like a s very mediocre console. That's okay. I, I tried really hard. I mean, if we sell a million of our console, fine. Fine, I'll take it. Better than nothing. But yeah, we lost a lot of money with this project. And Captain uh, sells a mil uh, a thousand per week. Yeah, we're not gonna pump more money in there. I think they're going to be... That's going to be fine. Ah, we could add supporting items to make a little bit more cash monies on it. And, and I'll do that. Why not? Nothing... Not, no award for us this year? Absolutely not. This is nearly done. There's still bugs. Don't publish it now. We still have to finish some things off. 
Okay, what needs marketing right now? I think the new add-on could use some marketing. The second add-on, where is it? Extreme online add-on. Bring the hype up. Hopefully sell a few more. Okay, paintball puzzle panic. Oh, they want more TVs. Fine, fine, here you go. Where is it? Oh, that's 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 the picture. Tell them it's a TV. It's fine. They'll believe you. They'll believe you. Staff room, TV. Sure. You know what? Have have two more. Watch free TVs at the same time. Multitasking for the win. <clears throat> Ooh, stereoscopic 3D. We can research that. Yes, please. That sounds good. Box are removed. There's still some unfinished parts over here with the music studio. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep it running. This is okay. We can always work on updates in the meantime. For example, for our add-on. And it's always good to have a training course on. So everyone who's not busy can go and train something there. Oh, 200% for more legendary people. Who, who else is legendary? He's legendary. You will be hired. One else who has some legendary skills. He has some legendary skills. You know what? I'm, I'm kind of considering looking at my staff and looking at like, who's really the worst at everything. Like Vol Vol Volter. Volter, I'm sorry. I'm going to dismiss you. That sounds like such a weird thing to say. Lando. Well, Lando's good in game design, but he lacks on other, other topics. Oh, well. So be it. Did we finish? Uh, this is nearly done. I'm waiting for the mocap to be done, and then we're going to release. And we're going to do some more marketing for the Schnecke. Just a little bit to keep the interest high. <laughs> we have a quarter percent market share. Hooray. Hooray for us. Okay, once once these things are done, we're gonna release. Even though not all features are done, that's okay. We need we need bigger offices. Wow, extreme rugby is not selling anything anymore. I guess we can take it off the market or convert it to an MMO, which we definitely should. Okay, we're gonna release Paintball Puzzle Panic Part Six. Producing it ourselves. One week is more than enough to pull this off. Looks good. It's a 93% game, which makes me very excited. So let's go ahead and produce it. Uh, produce it 100,000 at a time. Eh, uh, 250,000 at a time. That's okay. Okay, it's time to convert a game to become free to play. Extreme Rugby Online, yes. Let's convert this. $8 per. Yeah, let's, let's keep it low. Make sure people join. And how are we going to take this off the market? It's really hard to see what's going on. I think this is the add on. This is not the add on. I think we're going to take the add on off the market. Take him from market, there you go. Yes. Made us 7 million, and I think, yeah, Extreme Rugby Online, this is now our free-to-play title. Already made us 69 million, hopefully more soon. Wow, 500,000 downloads per week. Let's do some marketing for this, and keep it going, please. We're at 300 million, we're gonna be able to make a new console very soon. Hey! I told you it would happen, I told you it would happen. Time to work on some updates for our games. That includes Extreme Rugby Online, now that it is a free game, and we're gonna participate on a large booth! Ah, so many things at once. <laughs> sure, we're gonna show the console off one last time. Probably. Maybe we're gonna work on a new one. Yeah, 14,000 a week. Look at that. Ah, making, making plenty of money on it. <laughs> set price. Still cost 85 to make. Uh, set price automatically, sure. I, I doubt it'll it'll set it higher. Nobody wants this, but still people are buying it. So I'll take that as a win. And let's promote our game console. Yeah, bring it, bring the hype to a maximum, please. Extreme Rugby Online is at 2.3 million, whereas Captain China is slowly dying off. So let's have a look at the business model. Uh, how about we remove these parts? Bring the business model down. No revenue in the hopes that it will bring people back to the game. Yeah, there you go. Week 2,800 downloads. It might even go higher than that. Eh, the players are going down. Okay, let's milk it for all we can. Enable all the features. 15 a week or a month. And yeah, it's gonna cost us a bit, but it's okay. Oh, they bought my development kit. That's fine. Okay, Extreme Rugby Online is still getting another update. Or Paintball Puzzle Panic is getting one. And 340 million. I think this is great. How about... I wanna... Mm, yeah. Develop this. That would be fantastic. 
Wow, 146 active players for Captain China. It's time to take it off the market. Time to do that. Where is it, Captain China? This game did so well. Look at that, 287 million uh, revenue. Extreme Rugby, Rugby Online is doing well. 4.24 million players. Let's go ahead in the meantime and train our people in. Oh, that's a good thing to train them in. Music or graphics. Eh, let's do game design. Right now, not a whole lot of people are busy. And we're gonna do some console research. Eight gigabytes, good enough. And since our MMO, our free-to-play games do so well, we will do the same thing again. We will develop a free-to-play game. Free-to-play did so fantastically well. Uh, topic, oh yeah, let's see, what topics? Uh, I want something new, dwarfs, that's good. Dwarf, oh yes, I have an idea. Cowboy dwarfs, cowboy dwarfs in space. Cowboy dwarves in space. Actually, that sounds super cool. Uh, I want to go with something that I already know, which would be, hmm, would be a good economic simulation. Huh. Why not? And some strategy. Strategy and economic simulation works well. Uh, these are for puzzles. I guess it wouldn't make sense to develop an engine just for that reason. Ah, screw it. We'll go with the puzzle engine, even though if it's not made. You have not chosen the target market. Oh, economic simulation. Are you kidding me? Adults, of course. And we're gonna have to see Dev Kids. Five, five, five. I guess. Who, who develops for the Vita? Okay, we're gonna get the Game Station free, obviously. The PlayStation free. The Nintendo 3DS. Yes. Oh, the Fii U. It's there too. Huh. I don't think we're gonna go on our own console anymore. I mean, there are 16 games on there, but... Eh, screw it. We're going to go on that as well. 5%, 9%. Sure, we're going to go on the Schnicke. 0.4%. I mean, if we develop this thing, we should definitely make sure to sell on that. Okay, uh, towards the core gamer. We have a game report for economic games that did well. There, 66%. Um, yeah, that that is perfect. I'm gonna go with all the languages because that makes us happy. 27 out of 5, wait. Oh. Ew. My bad. My bad. It's gonna be a triple A title. <clears throat> Shit happens. Shit happens. There you go, now we can have all the features. We can even have more than we have available here. Ask it. Ah, uh, we're gonna go with just, you know, the regular two. Pets and mounts, cosmetic items and booster packs. That seems fair enough. I'm gonna do some console research e uh, as well. I set everything to the maximum as per usual. You don't have to see me click that all all the time. Uh, and let's market Cowboy Dwarves in space until the hype is real. Extreme Rugby Online currently has five million players. Ooh, Paintball Puzzle Panic is game of the year. Wow, good. Are we gonna sell some extra because of that? I, I we better. Come on, game of the year award. Apparently means nothing. Okay. Well, it was worth something. Extreme Rugby Online still sells a lot. Time to another update. Three million. That's totally fine. And I think I'm even gonna get some more servers. Uh, just to make sure that we have enough capacity for upcoming titles. Master Core Server. Okay, we have 10 million. Six million are using, uh, are playing Extreme Rugby Online. Let's see at the business model. You know what? I'm gonna add some cosmetic items. Make some extra money on this. Still gonna get plenty of downloads. Hmm. Okay, I don't like how the how the numbers went down. Let's remove everything and just see how many downloads we're getting. Maybe the game reached its zenith. Um. Yeah, that doesn't change too much. Even if we change the business model up, I was hoping for it. But nope, it does not. I think the game reached its end. So what we'll do? We'll enable all the things. Yay! Or you know, these things again. So we don't kill off all the active players we have right now. I still want to have some good in-app purchases. 1.4 million. That's quite a bit. Okay, is anyone currently not working? I think they're all dedicated to work and all the things at the same time. Cowboy Dwarfs in Space. No, we're not going to publish this just yet. The biggest, hottest new MMO of the century. Not just yet. 2014. We're going to be close to 2016 soon. Uh, let's, let's teach in some game design in the meantime. Yeah, 30 people wanna wanna learn something about that. Then again, let's let's do music. Seems that they could use from some music. That's one of the 
<clears throat> things that's a little low. Same with programming. We gotta get programming higher up. Absolutely. Here we're still learning. Bugs are getting squashed. And paintball puzzle. Still selling fairly well. Two million. And we're gonna go to a large booth, obviously. G guess who's gonna join me on the booth? It's the Schnecke. It's still around. This console that never dies with nearly half a percent of consoles. It's gotta be persistent. Never give up, never surrender. Okay, 400 million makes me pretty happy. The office is a sea of trash. Don't you judge me. We're working here. We don't have time for, for these things. Can we just hire some cleaning crew that deals with this? At this point, we should have a cleaning crew. I'm pretty sure that my, my, my workers are not <clears throat> dealing with that. Okay, this is still producing automatically, so we don't have to worry. Oh wait, Extreme Rugby be online. A production. Silly. Silly. We're gonna develop an update for that while we're at it. Whatever keeps my 6 million active players happy. Yeah, 1 million in a 1.5 million in a purchases. I don't know why they're so 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 eager to buy everything, but I'm not complaining. Cowboy Dwarfs in Space is gonna be released soon. We're just waiting for the remainder of the bucks to be squashed. We can do more. And release it. Yes, publish it now. Release as downloads. And it is an 89% game. Well, that means there's a lot to be done. Coward or some space. Do an update. I'm gonna do two updates at the same time just to see what that does. Wow, a million downloads. <clears throat> That's pretty good, actually. That is actually really good. 1.4 million downloads per week. I wonder if we took fans off... If two, ooh, 50% boost. I'll, I'll take that. More updates. Look at that, 1.4 million people. We nearly have the player capacity at 10 million players. 450 million, yeah, we're gonna be able to make a console now. I've been waiting for that all this time. We're gonna make a console in the next episode, guys, and it's going to be fantastic. Let's, let's see how much it will cost us. Develop a new console. Stationary, yes, yes, this will. If you do, your current console will be withdrawn. I know, I know. So, controller generation six, blue disc, eight gigabyte, the highest case, 488 million, yeah. We're very close to that. So that's what we're gonna develop. <clears throat> There's some, there are some things that I can research, but we're not gonna go for the maximum now. Well, this will have to do. In any case, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Mad Games Tycoon. It means the world to me that you're still with me. I really love this game, and I'm glad you enjoy it too. If you do, please leave a like. I'm Weasel. I'm out, and I hope to see you around. Bye-bye.